Hello, geeks and girls. It is me again with another Marvel review. Today, we're going to be talking about the sequel to one of the first reviews that I ever did. And, of course, the uh, second in the Blade trilogy. Now, I cannot talk a lot about this film, considering that even though I have the copy here, the disc is a little fidgety. So, from what I was able to do, I was able to find the movie, and I was able to see it again. So, feel for, so if I don't talk about everything, please, please bear with me. I'm not a master at Blade, because I've read a lot of Marvel, but I haven't read a lot of Blade. So, excuse me if I don't know everything. And if there is anything I missed, please leave it in the comments. Anyway, the main thing I wanted to talk about is, of course, this is a perfect follow-up to the original film. I mean, what was the original film but a kick-ass action film based on a comic book that was R-rated? And that's exactly what this is. All it did was do basically the, the Arkham City treatment and add a bunch of cool shit. And there's mainly two things I want to talk about. Well, no, three things, actually, now that I think about it. One, Whistler. Having him... Spoilers at the end of the... Flat, uh, of the end of, no, if you're watching this one, you, you deserve to be spoiled. He was captured by the vampires in the end of the first film. And in this film, he comes back and is now returning. He's back to, to return to form and tries to... He tries to fight them fight alongside Blade again, but there's this new guy, and I hate this new guy. I mean, Jesus, he is the biggest asshole I've ever seen in a Marvel film. Yes, I just said that. But, Whistler himself, of course, gives his top notch. Wesley Snipes, fucking A, has some of the greatest lines in Marvel movie history. And, in... And then there's the other two things I wanted to talk about. Two things that not a lot of people do. One of them has to be the character... I don't remember the actor's name, but he's the bald guy with shades. He look, he's the actor who was playing in Double X. Uh, but he's, he's in this film. He plays a character... He plays like this badass, like dead... Like kind of like this badass vampire guy who's going up against Blade. And Blade... I love Wesley's Snipes' acting in this because he's just such a... Oh, yeah, sure, man. You know, like, he's the only guy who can... He's the only one of these marvel types of badass heroes who can actually smile and still look intimidating. As if to say, yeah, I got nothing to fear. Bitch, your ass is grass. I love that about him. Uh, and another thing I wanted to talk about was the ending. The ending of this film. Now, spoiler alert if you haven't seen the movie. But... Throughout most of this stuff, uh, after after everything goes through, you know, like the first film broke the status quo with the whole, oh, we're not going to do the huge romantic kiss at the end of the film. That's not going to happen because we're better than that. And I loved it movie for that. But in this film, it was a bittersweet ending with a bittersweet villain, bittersweet situations. But everything, I think all of us can agree that the coolest part of this movie was the, well, the funniest part was the ending guy that Blade's chasing throughout the whole movie. He is hilarious, and I think it's funny how he he just... I'll get you later, you know? Well, why not kill him now, you know? And he finally kills him at the end of the movie. Spoiler alert, but he's finally gone. Uh, so I would probably give this movie a... I say it's not as good as the original, but it's pretty damn good, so I would say if you're a Marvel fan, let's say about, a. Four out of five. Not as good. It's almost there, though. Four out of five vampire slaying sticks. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.